What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be hot new shit that is worth your money. I have a bunch of new releases sitting in front of me that I've been loving lately, so I thought that I would tell you the ones that I love the most. This intention set from Penrose, and you're probably wondering what is an intention and how um, that has to do with these scents. Well, it's a really cool idea. So nine different intentions, and if you don't know an, what an intention is, it's a mindful commitment to yourself. You paired nine fragrances with pairing it with like a feeling and a mood. So the human brain processes scents in the same area as memories and emotion. That is why scents can impact your mood. So it comes with a crystal and also and also nine intention cards. Um, and this kind of just helps you pick out the scent for the day. So what I would do is I would shuffle it and then I would pick one up and it says um, Pillow Talk Poet. So then I would take that scent, which I think I actually really like that scent I was wearing yesterday. Oh, it smells so good. And then just kind of let that intention guide you throughout the day. This actually smells very calming, um, kind of like lavender vanilla is the Pillow Talk Poet. Poet. I like that idea. I like that um, this can help you uh, choose your favorite scent for the day. Sometimes it's very hard to decide which one I want to choose. And it's just a nice way of trying out their best sellers in a fun um, self-help type way. Because it's all like this life is all about being the best self that you can be. At least that's what I want to be. So I really thought that this was a cute idea. I do have a coupon code for you and a link which I will link below if you are interested. Next thing I've been obsessed with is the Dior, the new Dior foundations. I did an entire review on this. If you have not watched it, I will link it below. Today I'm wearing both of them together. I kind of feel like that is my new favorite way to wear these because you get the best of both worlds. You get a glowy um, natural side, but also a full coverage side with the matte if you mix them together. The color is a great match for me. I love this foundation. It lasts all day. It's very pore refining. Um, it's very skin perfecting and I think that whether you want the glowy or the matte, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these. And um, yeah, so wearing these together is definitely the way to go in my book. I just feel um, that is my favorite way to wear it because I get full coverage, but also kind of like a natural look as well. I've been loving these. These are from Huda Beauty and these are her matte, her matte and metal eyeshadows. I've been wearing them for the past couple of days, testing them out, and they wear really well. I do have two colors. The first one is pink champagne, and this comes with a really pretty kind of icy pink color. Um, you do have to wear several layers of the metal ones because, or of the metal shades, and then the matte shades are really creamy and nice. It's the pink champagne shade. Um, just a pinky side and then a very light matte side. Very easy to work with. Gosh, I love it. That's the first shade. The next shade I got was Faux Fur. And this one is um, more of the really, really neutral. I feel like this matte shade is almost like a, like a primer or concealer shade, but it looks really good up against this metallic gold. So that is the metallic, you're not gonna be able to tell, but it's a really nice pairing. Um, how The way I use it is I'll just take a little, I'll just take a brush and dab it in and then just apply it that way. Same with this. So they apply really easy and they matte down, they set almost instantly and you can tell. Like when I rub it, it just, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, you get a really good long wearing liquid eyeshadow. I actually wanted one more shade. I just think it's a really fun way to um, come out with like an eye, I, so I like these. I think that they are definitely worth the money. Um, next thing, moving to skincare. Okay, so I have been really loving this toner. This is from Ole Hedrickson and it's the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. This like perfects the skin in like a week. It's so crazy. I'll have like dark acne spots right here and I just think that this is a gentler way to help lighten those um, instead of using like a peel or one of like the harsher toners. This smells like lemon, so it's very um, invigorating. For the morning, I wear it morning and evening and I 
absolutely love it. Very like invigorating scent. I love it. I just like can actually cannot get enough. It smells so good. It smells exactly like lemon, but it's just not a strong lemon. It's subtle, perfects the skin. I feel like it's a great refresher after you wash your face. So if you're looking for a new toner or looking for something that's a little bit more gentle, gentler, a little bit more gentle than like the Tarte tingling treatment or something like that, this is a great option. Not only that, I feel like it works really quickly to help lighten your dark areas if you've got like discoloration. It's so, so good. The next thing, and I cannot get enough of this. I, oh. This is the Goddess Cleansing Ritual. So this is the new Charlotte Tilbury cleansing system. I mean, my skin has never been softer, more plump, and just more luscious than after I wash and do this with her products. That was like such a run-on sentence. What are these called? Muslin cloth? It comes with a muslin cloth. And the way that I do it is I, um, so what you're supposed to do is do this first, get the cloth really warm and damp. I'll lay it on my face for about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to open up the pores, get your skin really clean, and then you do the charcoal side. And this is kind of the detox side that just extracts everything from the pores. It's not drying at all. It leaves your skin looking so refreshed, so clean, and just really, really beautiful. So these two, I love. I really, really love these. I didn't think that I would, but if you are super into doing like spa nights at home, this would rock your world because it's exactly how it feels when you go into a spa when you do something like this. I love it. So this is the other thing that I think is totally worth the hype. It gets your skin very clean. And if you have drier aging skin, that is almost a must because it does not dry out your face at all. But at the same time, it does a good job of like extracting dirt and like debris from your pores. Next thing, I thought this was so, such a cute set from Nordstrom. It is the Mac times Chris, Christine, or is it Christian? This is a such a good value with like staples that you need in your life. So you get it for $42.50 and I think, yeah, you get all full sizes in here and it's like the best, it's crazy because you get all full sizes of these products and they should be basically staples in your collection because they're all neutrals and beautiful. So it comes with brown script. I love brown script. It's one of my all time favorites. And then, um, ugh, amber lights. Like why, how could you not love that color? And then, um, amber lights. Oh, this is such a pretty combination. So those two, and then you also get half and half, which is an amplified there. I mean, this is basically like a look, this is, you don't, I mean, this is awesome. And then this is a must, and this is spice liner. I love spice. Um, that is one of my favorite liners from Mac. So really, this is such a good deal. I mean, if you don't jump on this deal, all of these colors are beautiful. Half and half is a must. And then you've got the liner and your eyeshadow and you're like good to go. I think everyone should have in their collection, to be honest. That was a bad one. There we go. I feel like, I feel like Givenchy is um, an underdog sometimes. I don't feel like they come out with a lot of stuff that is really that interesting, but I wanna say this blush is new. It was it was in the new section at Barney's. So if it's not new and it's an old color, don't blame me. Blame Barney's because they had it under the new category unless they're like re-promoting it for the spring collection. I don't know. But this is the blush in love and it's freaking stunning. Oh, I can't even like, I don't even wanna to touch it. It's so pretty. Look for me. The lights are absolutely going to kill it. Basically, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it is a really bright, pink color and a light pink color. And together they make the prettiest pink blush. It's very, very light. So um, this would probably not work on girls who have a darker skin tone for um, brightening up the face. And it doesn't look ashy. I thought it would look ashy at first, but it, would, it doesn't. It's a really pretty pop of pink, light pink to the face at all. I mean, you can kind of tell from back here, but it looks washed out. It's really pretty. This is definitely gonna be a great 
companion in the springtime just because it's so pastel and pretty. Usually I can't find really pretty pastel blush colors, but I did with this, it's gorgeous. All right guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time.